Welcome back, everyone. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation, and you have been invited once again into my living room to please have a seat, grab yourself some coffee. We are going to, absolutely going to witness something probably incredible. Definitely incredible. I mean, it's Jeff Castellucci getting his Middle Earth on again. Come on, guys. All right. Song of Durin. Song of Durin. At the time I'm recording this, that was released six hours ago. You can find the original on the Jeff Castellucci YouTube channel, or I will link it at the end of this video in the form of a thumbnail. So, kind of a low-key, low-energy day for me. Um, music is always a good catharsis. And I think it's time. I think it's time just to listen. I have my Lord of the Rings heat change mug. There you go. It's a map of Middle Earth, and then when it gets cool, you'll see the writing that's on the One Ring. It's cool. It's good coffee. All right, here we go. Shut 
Hey y'all, Jeff here. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing. Videos like this would be impossible to make without lovely folks like you clicking that play button a time or two. And of course, all the lovely people on Patreon. If you'd like to see all of my videos early and plenty of other incredible perks, head on over to Patreon and sign up. You can even sign up for free. Special shout out goes to Paul Draco, Emma Kremplin, Juliana Livingston, Diana Holland, Sarah Borzelli, Sarah O, Lori Templeman, Laura Mueller, Patricia Schumann, Debbie Goodling, Jordy S, A.M. Person, Carl and Melanie Thomas, Asa M. Lightroom, and Dennis Shabbat. Thanks again for watching. Okay, leave it right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's done a few, hasn't he? That's so cool. It, it was nice to escape for a few minutes going to that beautiful storied place called Middle Earth. You know, that's, boy, when I discovered Tolkien's writings in that world, um, I was young. I was, uh, that was probably about 35 years ago for me, right around that, yeah. And it always, it carved out, uh, much like Durin's folk in Casa Doom, it carved out a special place in my heart. Uh, it, it was something just so wonderful about that story, those stories, because it is a series of stories, right? And how wide and deep and full of life that Tolkien filled those, those pages and the imagination. Um, and some of my finest memories were the Middle Earth role-playing game with my friends and just expanding that imagination into ways that only we could at that age. Um, and to see homage being paid to, to such an iconic story such an iconic place. And the way Jeff did it was just very classy. I loved that he used, I don't know if he used the fullness of his vocal range, but he used a lot of his range in this song. Um, and it was really well done. You know, it's the tallest dwarf I've ever seen. But, it's the shortest elf I've ever seen too. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Well, in Middle Earth it does. Anyways, um, you know, of course, the, the, the props and the costumes and all that go towards their production. It was a good production. And he's in character dressed as different characters from, from, uh, from Middle Earth, which was really cool. And I was just thinking about the, the lyrics in this. Uh... I don't know, I never memorized any of the songs or poems or whatever that lyrics that Tolkien wrote. I don't know, this is probably one of them. Either that or, or Jeff wrote this and did an amazing job, but I think this is, uh, this is, I'm gonna look, I've got the books. <laughs> I'm gonna look after this video. Uh, darn song, <laughs> you know. Um, but he did such a wonderful job. Like I said, it grabbed my attention. It drew me into the story. It made me think, wander around Middle Earth a little bit in my mind as I'm listening to just a wonderful vocal performance. Um, such control, 
you know, this is part of this whole thing that music, for me, it's, you know, I, it's a blessing. I, I look at it as a blessing because it's able to take you and you're able to use it as in different ways. You know, whatever state of mind that you're, you have, it's either going to amplify it or it's going to pull you out of that state of mind and put you into a different one. Today I needed to kind of get out of this sort of funk that I'm in. And this was a good step. This was, it, it, it got my mind off of me and it got my mind onto something else, you know. So, well done, well done. Good job. I like this one a lot. It's very cool. Check out my other voice play and Jeff Castellucci reactions. They're all lumped together under voice play reactions playlist. So check that out. Um, otherwise, you know, the usual folks, like, subscribe, and share. Check out all the information in the description box below. Thank you so much for coming over, spending some time with me. And uh, God bless you. Jesus loves you. I will talk to you later.